All right. Well, welcome back to the iWealth Podcast. And uh, today we are spending a little time talking about a absolutely critical part to uh, end of life care, which is long term care. So my parents are getting a little older. <laughs> I don't want to have the conversation, but I feel like it's maybe getting to be that time. How important is it to have long term care insurance? Here, listen, first off, long term care is not, you know, insurance is not for everyone. Yeah. But how do you know it's right for you if you don't have a conversation around it? Okay. You know, you've saved typically your entire life and developed, you know, your entire estate without even thinking about possibly how much long-term care is going to going to cost you. Are you going to have to sell your house that you've lived in because you have to pay a long-term care bill that you didn't plan for? It's something that can quickly deplete all of your assets without anything for your spouse or for your kids, uh, depending on how long your stay is. Something that no one wants to talk about going into a long-term care facility, you hear the saying all the time, do not send me to that nursing home. But the real, if you think about it realistically, the odds of one of you or your spouse going into long-term care is pretty high. And if you don't budget for that cost or plan for that cost, it's something that can quickly take your 401k away that you spent, you know, the past 40 years of your career building or the the house that you grew up in. And it's, I mean, at, with long-term care costs at close to $100,000 a year or five grand a month or 15 grand a month, all depending on where you are, it's just a huge drag down on, on your overall net worth and the legacy that you could possibly pass on to to your family. So who is it right for, right? As a general rule of thumb, who is long-term care um, correct for? It's typically probably right for for everyone. <laughs> it is right for everyone. It just depends on how much coverage you need, in my opinion. So if you have assets, if you say you have $100,000 in your 401k and you have a house that's worth $100,000, it's probably not worth that, that price because it's more important to save for retirement and say, rather than paying a long-term care insurance bill. Mm-hmm. Very cool. So if somebody wants to have the conversation around long-term care, um, what's kind of the next step to that? Next steps, in a meeting and kind of analyzing, you know, your income, how much you have saved, and to really think to yourself about, hey, I've, I've saved up a million dollars in my portfolio. That could be taken away in 10 years with long-term care. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, I think those are some thoughts that go along with the uh, the idea of long-term care. And uh, we'll see you back here next time on the iWealth Podcast. <laughs>